right so in this video we will be looking at simultaneous equation and we'll be using the method of elimination in our example we were given two equations and once I say simultaneous equation we are solving both equations at once so we were given 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 7. So, uh, all right, so being that we're using the method of elimination, we know that elip once we need something, we get rid of it, right? So we need to eliminate or get rid of one of the variable, solve for the other in the process, and then we can... Do our little substitution to solve for the eliminated variable. Alright, so let's get straight to it. So for us to eliminate one variable, the coefficient for that variable must be the same. Looking at it, the coefficient for x in this equation is 2 and the coefficient for x in this equation is 3 they are not the same the coefficient for y in this equation is 3 and the coefficient for y in the other equation is 2 they are not the same right so we have to do something to get them the same right so what i'm going to do is multiply let me name these equations. So I'm going to call this equation, equation 1. So I'm calling our first equation, equation 1, and our second equation, equation 2. So in order for us to get the coefficient of x to be the same, what I'm going to do is to multiply equation 1 by the coefficient of x in equation 2 and we know that the coefficient of x in equation 2 is 3 so we are going to be multiplying everything in our equation 1 by 3 so when we multiply equation 2 by 2 we'll now have 2 times 3x which give us 6x, excuse me, 2 times 2y, which give us 4y, and 2 times 7, which give us 14. Alright. So we can, we want to eliminate x, which means we need to subtract both. Alright, we want to eliminate x, so therefore we are going to subtract the two equations. Because when we have 6x minus 6x, we get, we get nil, no x at all, so that's 0. 9y minus 4y give us 5y, and 24 minus 14 give us 10 so we know that 5y is equal to 10 all right we know that 5y is equal to 10 we want to know what 1y is so what we are going to do is find that number that when you divide it by 5, we get 1. And we know that the only number that can go into 5 one time is it is 5. So we divide both sides of our equation by 5. 5 into 5, 1. 5 into 5, 1. 1 times y give us y or 1y. And then 5 into 5, 1. 5 into 10, 2. 2 over 1 is the same as 2. So y is equal to 2. Ne our next step is to use any one of our equation 
and substitute substitute the value to wherever we see y in the equation so i'm going to be using equation one all right so what we're doing now is substituting wherever we see y with the value two and we're using our first equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 so we have 2 we write back our 2x plus 3 but there's a y so wherever we see wherever we see y we're going to replace it with the value 2 so let me just bracket it is equal to 8 right so we write back our 2x and we know that once we see a bracket it tells us to multiply so 3 times 2 give us 6 is equal to 8 we need to group our like terms so we are grouping, keeping our 2x on this side and we are getting we are going to so we have 2x we want to get rid of this 6 on this side so we need we have a positive 6 and if we want a 0 we need to take away 6 from it and to balance our equation okay. we need to minus 6 from Two. both sides so 6 minus 6 0 8 minus 6 give us 2 we know that 2x is equal to 2 we want to know what x is we are going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 2 into 2 1 2 into 2 1 we are left with 1x or x and 2 into 2 1 2 into 2 1 1 over 1 is the same as 1 so therefore so therefore for this system of equation and right writing it as a coordinate x y our x is equal to one and our y is equal to two so watching remember to share like subscribe give it a thumbs up see you in my next video